Hello insiders! So glad to see all the likes and comments on a newsflash. Thank you so much for the feedback and we'll try to incorporate some of that in this video. Let's get started with this week's newsflash. First update. Using automated systems to identify content made for 18 and over viewers on YouTube. This update applies for creators making content meant for an 18 and over audience on YouTube. While there are no major age restriction policy changes beginning today and rolling over the next few months, we will expand the use of our automated system to identify and apply age restrictions to videos that aren't appropriate for viewers under 18. Why are we doing this? These changes are in line with the upcoming regulations in the EU, which are focused on ensuring platforms like YouTube verify users' age if they want to watch content appropriate for people over 18. So what does this actually mean for my channel? Viewership on videos made for audience over the age 18 will likely be reduced as they won't be seen by viewers who are logged out under 18 or watching embeds from most third-party sites. There should only be a slight reduction to monetization on these videos because they will already have limited or no ads. As always, creators can appeal an age restriction if they think there was an error. If you want more details on this, our creator liaison, Matt Koval, covers this in the video we'll leave in the description below. Make sure to check it out. Next update. How to make money on YouTube 101. A very exciting topic <laughs> based on the comments. Connor recorded a session all about how to make money on YouTube, both through advertising and alternative monetization products. We'll leave it in the description if you want to check it out. Next update. Migrating set official series to new studio. A while ago, we mentioned a few playlist features that Due to low usage, we were not going to port over from Classic Studio to New Studio. If you want a refresher, we'll have that video linked below. A quick update. We've heard your feedback on the set official series feature and we'll be migrating that over to the new studio. Thank you so much for that feedback. Next update. Channel customization rollout. Earlier this year, we told you that we'll soon have the ability to customize your channel directly within YouTube Studio. You'll be able to edit your channel's homepage layout to feature your most important content and update your profile image, channel name, and channel banner to match your brand. We're happy to announce that we're starting to release the new channel customization features to YouTube Studio users all over the world. If you don't see it yet, no need to be alarmed. Over the course of the next month or so, you should start seeing the new options in the left-hand navigation of your studio. We're aiming for 50% launch to creators this week. So how do I know I have this new experience? On your YouTube.com, on your own channel page, when you click on the customization channel button, you will be redirected to the new experience in studio. Or when you're in YouTube Studio, you will notice a new customization option in the left navigation. We're very excited to bring channel customization into Studio, making your YouTube Studio truly a one destination for creators. Happy customizing. Next update. We're beginning a 1% experiment merging the two comment moderation tabs. Likely spam, comments can now be found at the bottom of the health review tab. We hope that the new combined health review tab will help simplify your moderation experience and reduce the amount of work for creators. We're continuing to work on ways to improve your moderation experience and increase efficiency. Next update. Copyright tab expansion in studio. We're expanding access to the copyright tab to all YouTube studio users. You'll be able to one, see detailed history of your previously submitted copyright takedown requests. Two, quickly access the copyright complaint web form to report any videos that use your copyright protected work without permission. You can find the copyright tab on the left hand side of the studio interface. And that's a wrap for this week's newsflash. Last week's trivia question was, what is the most viewed YouTube original film? The answer is The Thinning, and our winner is Buddy YT. Congratulations. This week's trivia question is going to be an inspiration from Tom's This Week's Movie. Are you ready? Here's the quote. See, if I can't trust you, Rag, then I don't have no choice but to put you outside the circle. And once you're out, you're out, and there's no coming back. First person to guess correctly in the comments will get a shout out in the next newsflash. Stay safe, keep it real, your host, Maria.